Yep. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Let's make some money. How's everybody doing? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yeah. Happy Sunday in that. Everybody doing all right? I'm sure y'all are doing just fine. I'm sure everybody's doing just fine. Let's see what are we doing here. Let's get this straight now. How about that? How about that? How about that? Hey, good? How's everybody doing? Robert, Daniel, Robert, Matt, AJ, Jazz, Stephen, AJ, Pigskin Pete, a fellow degenerate uh, like myself, and Big A. Uh, D, what's up, buddy? Orange flavored. If ever ETN ain't doing fine. Yeah, hate to see that. I mean, it's, that's uh, every fan's worst nightmare in the offseason. No point in laugh video for Florida and Auburn. Embarrassing loss. Uh, what's up, Lou? What's up, Arrow, Arrow Medical? What's up, buddy? Big Dog Eat, what's up? David Byers, hey, Lou, when did UK start to suck at basketball and better in football? A couple of years ago, actually. This really isn't anything new. Kentucky is, what, one in five in the NCAA tournament? Like, like they've only made it past the first round, like, once in the last four years or something? They've been slipping, really, under Calipari. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go a different direction. You know what it is? They're they they're one of the most talented teams in the country. I mean, there's probably more NBA players on Kentucky's team than any other team, but they're all freshmen, and that's just the philosophy they have. They go out and they recruit a bunch of one-and-done players, and if they ever get it figured out during the course of a season, they can be really, really good because from a talent perspective, you're going to be hard-pressed to find anybody better than Kentucky. If you remember, I think it was the last stream that I did. Somebody was talking about the SEC winning the tournament. I said, the only SEC team I think that even could has a chance of winning the tournament is Kentucky. And in, in, in order for Kentucky to win it, they'd have to play up to their ceiling, and obviously they're not doing that. But just talent-wise, I think Kentucky was the only SEC team that had a shot. I know Tennessee won a close one yesterday. Um, over Texas, but they've never even made a Final Four. They're going nowhere quick, fast, and in a hurry. I do think Alabama will win again today. Uh, but anyway, Utah State and Purdue. I'm on Utah State plus 11 and a half. Now, I bet the game earlier, the Marquette game earlier, Marquette was a four and a half point favorite. I bought it down to four. So I had Marquette minus four, and Marquette won by four. So I didn't win, I didn't lose. It was a, it was a push for me. Uh, it was a push. I just got my money back. Didn't win, didn't lose. Uh, so this will be my second bet of the day. I'm on Utah State plus 11 and a half. So if you're not a, a degenerate gambler and you don't understand what that means, uh, that means I either need Utah State to win the game or I need them to lose by less than 11 and a half points. In other words, 11 points or less. They lose by 8, 9, 10, 11. I still win the bet. Uh, that's a decent bet, says Big A. Uh, we are sweet, sweet 16 bound go pack. Yeah, NC State uh, on the way to sweet, uh, sweet 16. Lutang, Lutang, Lutang. Yeah, the Lutang clan ain't nothing to fuck with. I'll tell you that right now. Lutang clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Good luck to Georgia and the NIT today. Buckeye fans are cheering for you guys today. Uh, yeah, I'm taking Wake Forest minus nine and a half. <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, spoiler alert. I was going to wait until the game started, but I'm taking Wake Forest minus nine and a half against Georgia. Georgia's not any good. I had seven game parlay and UK didn't cover much less wind. Well, you hate money, don't you? Are you allergic to money or what? Seven game parlay. Calipari had turned Kentucky into an NBA farm system. Yeah, that's all it is. He recruits one and done guys. They go on to the NBA. They have great NBA careers. But in terms of a team, he's got a hard time putting a team together. Uh, Trevor Etienne, five-star dummy. Well, I mean, look, I'm in no position to talk about somebody getting a DUI, but obviously you don't want to see that. Uh, you don't want to see that in the offseason, obviously. Well, you don't want to see it ever, but not not good. Not good at all. Utah State for the W, don't call it an upset. Well, it'll be a huge upset. They're 11.5-point underdog. Uh, but I am, taking, I am taking Utah State plus 11.5. I am taking Utah State plus 11.5. Ram Dog, what's up, buddy? Green, uh, Green Street Utes. Anthony, Austin LeBeau, Super Denny Gumper. Uh, David Byers, Jazz Jackson, Brent Moritz. Appreciate y'all hanging out. <clears throat> what do y'all think about the games coming up later today? I like Bama, minus the points. Uh, I like Wake Forest, minus the points. 
How was the trip, Lou? Oh, we had a great time. Yeah, I took my son to see Zach Bryan uh, Friday night in Birmingham. Uh, he, uh, he had never been to a concert before, so it was his first concert experience. He had an amazing time. He had an amazing time. The Purdue game will be decided early. If he's getting a whistle every two seconds, it's over. You're talking about Zach Eady? I'm not worried about the, the, the Purdue winning. I, I need Utah State to just lose by less than 11 and a half. <clears throat> Yes, new room. New room. What's up, Sam? You got your wireless keyboard all charged up today, Sam? You gonna embarrass yourself today? Are you gonna do some high level trolling or are you gonna stick with the elementary shit? Or what do we what do we got planned for today, Sam? Cassidy Johnson says Georgia always leads the nation and players arrested. You just don't have that at Tennessee. Yeah, that's just not true. Georgia does not always lead the nation and players arrested, but it's just fun to type that though. <clears throat> you just don't have that at Tennessee. Yeah, you don't have wins at Tennessee either. Can't win anything there. I don't remember the last time Tennessee won anything, to be honest. I'm taking Sunday off. Oh, okay. I rest your fingers up for the week. Big week of trolling for you, huh, Sam? Rest your fingers today. Alabama leads the nation for criminals on payroll, says Tennessee Royalty. Caleb says, what's up, Lou? Good to see you, bro. Hey, Caleb, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you in here. How's your dad doing? Haven't heard an uh, update on him lately. I'm hoping everything's okay. Who do you have in Utah State versus Purdue game? Utah State plus 11 and a half. Whatever bets I make will be scrolling across the bottom of the screen. So right now, the only bet I have is Utah State plus 11 and a half. I had Creighton minus four in the game earlier, and they won by four. So I didn't win. I didn't lose. It was just a push. I got my money back. Uh, in this one, I'm on Utah State plus 11 and a half. Here's the opening tip, which, of course, is won by Purdue. They have Zach Eady, who's seven foot four, so they win the tip no problem. Purdue with possession to start things off here. March Madness round of 32. Winner advances to the Sweet 16. Purdue puts up a shot, bricks it off the back of the iron. Utah State with a rebound across half court now. This is it into the corner. Dribbling, dribbling, dribbling into the lane. This is it out wide for three from the corner. No good. Rebound, Utah State. We're going to have a jump ball here. And uh, possession will go to Utah State. He's doing well. Started working with a friend of ours more consistently. Hasn't had any major issues in a while. Just dizziness and exhaustion here and there. Well, I'm glad to hear he's doing a lot better, man. I am glad to hear that. He's a nice guy. I only got to meet him that once, but he was a nice guy. Hey, Lou, hope you're good. Is it football season yet? Uh, no, not football season yet. Much love from the UK. Oh, all the way from England, huh? <clears throat> Utah State has the ball knocked out of bounds by Purdue. Utah State will keep possession. Nine seconds on the shot clock. No score. 19 minutes and 19 seconds to go. Game just underway here. Utah State inbounding from underneath its own basket for three in the corner. No good. And uh, Purdue grabs the rebound. No score. Coming up on uh, 19 minutes to go. Purdue's a big favorite in this one. They're favored by 11 and a half. I took Utah State in the points. A block that time by Utah State, but they're going to call them for a foul, and Purdue will go to the free throw line. Clemson or Baylor? Baylor to win and cover. Baylor to win and cover. Baylor to win and cover there. Purdue misses the first free throw. Still no score in this one. First minute of the game. Zero to zero. Purdue shooting the second of two free throws now. And he missed both of them. Wow, you don't see that very often. Still no score. Utah State ball. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Top of the key. Kicks it out. Now back into the lane and a wide open slam. Utah State takes an early lead. Two to nothing over Purdue to. I did two brackets, and both of them got busted. I don't fill out brackets. I, I just bet game to game. I mean, I, I told y'all kind of three or four teams I thought had the best chance to win it, but really it's the same three or four teams everybody else will tell you too. Uh, UConn. I like UConn, uh, Houston, Creighton. Uh, Purdue isn't that good. They're overrated, says AJ. I hope you're right because I've got Utah State plus 11 and a half, and I need a winner. 
Uh, I missed on the first game. I mean, I didn't lose. It was a put. I had uh, I had uh, I had Marquette minus four, and they won by four. So I just got my money back there. Purdue down two to nothing early in this one. They throw the ball away out of bounds. Turnover, and Utah State will have possession. Basketball is the only sport Purdue is good at, says Floby. Who you going for, Green Street? Do you hate Utah State? That's a good question. Uh, does Utah have any hate for Utah State? I know the Utah BYU deal, but uh, is there a Utah Utah State robbery? I honestly don't know the answer to that. Let us know, Utah man in the chat. Two to nothing. Utah State still on top. They've got possession. Eighteen minutes to go in the first half. I have Utah State plus eleven and a half in this one, and another easy layup for Utah State, and they are up four to nothing over Purdue early in this one. Which is good for me. It's good for Lou. Purdue underneath this time gets an easy basket. 4 to 2, 17 45 to go in the first. Utah and Utah State ain't rivals. Utah's only rival is with BYU, says Floby. <clears throat> Robert needs Purdue to win. I don't care if they win as long as they win by less than 11 and a half. And then uh, I'll win my bet. Purdue for three, no good. Rebounded by Utah State, and they're running the length of the floor, and another easy layup makes it a 6-2 game. Utah State now up by four. The Aggies of Utah State up over Purdue to Boilermakers down four. 17 minutes to go. Into the paint, Zach Eady fouled right away before he even could get a shot off, really. Boy, they are harassing him something serious. They had him double-teamed. There ain't much you can do with, with, with Zach Eady in college. I mean, in seven foot four in college, you might as well be 10 feet tall. You're just not going to play very many teams that have anybody that can match up against Zach Eady. Zach Eady to the free throw line now. Six to two, Utah State up early over Purdue. I've been meaning to be on more streams consistently and be back with the community again and try to make the slobs again. I'm just so busy with college and other things. I get it, Caleb. I, believe me. I get it. I get it, man. We'd love to see you again, but we understand. Purdue misses an easy, wide-open layup. Wow. Got to take his scholarship away. That's terrible. Utah State with a long jumper. Clanks off the iron. No good. Rebounded by Purdue. Still 6-2. to two, Just under 17 minutes to go in the first half. Purdue with possession now. Down low to Edie in the paint. Puts it up. No good. Rebounded by Purdue. Fouled and makes the bucket. Chance for a three-point play here for Purdue. Bucket makes it 6-4. to four. Free throw coming, a chance for Purdue to cut it to a one-point game. Utah State are the Wardens of the North in Utah. Utah is King's Landing, and BYU are the White Walkers. BYU, is that's a great term, actually, for BYU. The white, I might have to steal that, the White Walkers. I might have to steal that from you there. Might have to steal that from you there. <clears throat> Purdue makes the free throw, and we've got a one-point game here. 16.45 to go in the first half. Utah State 6, Purdue 5. Come on, Utah State. Just keep it close. Just keep it close. Just need you to keep scoring. Don't fall too far behind. Utah State pump fake on a three into the lane. I don't know what they called there. A foul on Purdue, I guess. I couldn't tell if that was supposed to be a shot or a pass. Not sure what they called there. I think they called a foul on Purdue, but said the guy wasn't shooting. And, and honestly, I didn't think he was shooting either. I thought it was a pass, too. So Utah State will be inbounding the ball on their own baseline. Kicked out the three-point land, now passed in. Back outside. Bottom of the screen. Dribbles. Top of the key. Kicks it out wide for three. Short. No good. Rebound uh, bounded by Zach Eady and Purdue. Across half court now for the Boilermaker. Six to five, Utah State up by one. Jumper for Purdue, no good. Rebounded by Purdue underneath and puts back the rebound and fouled again. Another three-point play coming up here for Purdue, or a chance for a three-point play. Seven to six, Purdue takes their first lead of the game, and uh, they'll have a chance to add to it here with a free throw. Has there ever been a college with a great basketball and football at the same time? Yes, Florida won the national title in football in 2006 and 2008. 
and they won back-to-back -back titles in basketball around that same time. I don't remember the exact years. If there's a Florida fan in here, I'm sure they do. But uh, So the Gators won the Natty in football in 06 and 08, and around that same time, they won back-to-back -back Natties in basketball. And I'm sure there's other examples too, but that's the, that's the glaring one that jumps out to everybody. They won basically four national titles in, I think, a three- or four-year period between uh, basketball and football. Oregon's had good basketball and football teams at the same time, says Nicholas Dubendorf. I mean, well, I guess it depends on what your definition of good is. I mean, Alabama's got a chance to make the Sweet 16 tonight, and they finished in the top 10 in football. Is that, I, I guess, you know, that's, I guess, good in both sports. Maybe not national champions, but they were great. Again, it depends on what your definition of great is. Georgia won the Natty in 1980, won the SEC in football in 80, 81, and 82, and made the Final Four in basketball in 1983. So that was a good four-year run for the Dogs. Now, they haven't been shit in basketball since then. If Georgia didn't have a horrific February, we'd be dancing right now. Uh, Georgia's nowhere near a tournament team. They're going to get destroyed today by Wake Forest, I hope, because I'm going to bet on Wake Forest minus 9.5. That game comes on at 4. Georgia on the road at Wake Forest in the uh, second round of the NIT. Wake Forest is a nine and a half point favorite. I'm taking Wake, uh, Wake Forest minus the points. Uh, speaking of Oregon, who's going to be their starting QB for 2024? I think it's going to be Dylan Gabriel. I know they got Dante Moore, but uh, you know Dylan Gabriel's a six year guy who put up monster numbers last year at Oklahoma. Dante Moore was a freshman last year at UCLA and he played a lot, but he didn't look great. Um, I think the best case scenario for Oregon is have Dante Moore sit a year behind Dylan Gabriel, learn the system, and then Dante Moore start next year. But I think it'll be Dylan Gabriel this year. If we didn't have a horrific February, but we did, says Big Two. I can't believe I'm saying it, but Ohio State should have fired Hoffman sooner. Right now, this team is clearly tournament caliber. They got way better uh, after they fired that, uh, their basketball coach. The, the, hell, the first game after they fired their basketball coach, they beat Purdue. They beat this, this same Purdue team. That's by far their best win of the year. Ohio State, but yeah, they didn't make the tournament, but they're doing all right in the NIT. But yeah, Ohio State fired their basketball coach halfway through the season. Uh, the next game they played was against Purdue, who I believe was ranked number one at the time, and uh, Ohio State beat them. Ohio State beat them. Helmet wall is looking good. Still got a lot of work to do, but it's looking good. It's coming along slowly, but slowly. <laughs> Anybody want to go gambling next week? Cherokee, leaving tomorrow. Cherokee, North Carolina, Harris Casino, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night. I'll be there Monday through Thursday. Come gamble with me. Come gamble with me. Sir UJ's going. Hoghead's going. Uh... Huffer Billy Paul's going. Jay Shipes is going. Come gamble with us. Come gamble with us. Harris, Cherokee in North Carolina in the mountains. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, coming back Thursday. I'll be up there tomorrow around noon. I should be getting there around noon, 1 o'clock, somewhere around there. And I'll be leaving on Thursday to come back to, uh, to come back home. Does Georgia have a chance today? No. I'm going to say no. I'm taking Wake Forest minus 9.5. Fly me over there, Lou. There's no airport in Cherokee. So unless you got a helicopter, you can't fly there. Purdue, underneath the Edie, out of bounds, off of Edie. Turnover, Purdue. Utah State ball. Your score, Purdue 8, Utah State 6. Still early in this one, first half. I've got Utah State plus 11 and a half. So they can lose the game. That's fine with me. But I just need Utah State to lose by less than 11 so we can get Lou paid. Hashtag pay Lou. Fuck the bookie. I had a great day yesterday. Great day yesterday. Utah State hits a jumper. All tied up. Eight apiece. Fifteen minutes to go in the first half. Five minutes gone here in this one. Winner advances to the Sweet 16. Purdue with possession. Alley-oop for Edie. And he slams it home. That was way too easy. Ten to eight. Purdue back up by two. 
I love gambling myself, but unfortunately, the bookie wins more than we do. Well, that's a fact. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a fact. Most of the time, the bookie's going to whip you. But I've been on a hell of a run the last four, really since Super Bowl week. I've only had one losing week gambling since Super Bowl week. And in that week, I only lost 40 something dollars. I've won money every other week. Ten to eight, Purdue up. Turnover. Stolen by Utah State. Three pointer. Nails it. Utah State takes the lead 11 to 10 with 14 minutes to go in the first half. Come on, Utah State. Let's go. Let's go. Keep the pressure on. Let's go. You don't have the same bookie as Otani's translator. I, I don't know who that is, but no, I have a local guy. Purdue for three, no good. Utah State with the rebound and a chance to add to their lead, 11 to 10, just under 14 minutes to go in the first half. Another three for Utah State. Buries it again. Let's go. Bang. Let's go. 14 to 10, Utah State up four with 13.45 to go in the first half. Come on, Aggies. Let's go. Fuck Purdue to pay Lou. Purdue with the ball on the block. Kicks it out to three-point land. Nothing to do with it. Looks back underneath inside to Edie. Now back out for three again. A long three, and he drains it. Wow. That was a Steph Curry three there. Makes it a one-point game. Utah State 14, Purdue 13. 13 minutes to go in the first half. What do you think about Travis Etienne? Uh, I think he's going to be one of the best running backs in the SEC. Is there anybody that doesn't think that? Utah State for another three short this time, but was he fouled? I don't know what they called here. What did they call a foul on Purdue? If that's the case, wow, they, I don't know about that. I think that was a bad call, but they did call a foul on Purdue, and Utah State will be shooting three free throws now. They're up by one, 14 to 13, with 12.56 to go in the first half. Here's the first free throw, and it's good. 15 to 13, two-point game. They called a foul, dummy. What else, says AJ? You gonna try to troll today, AJ? Here comes the second free throw. No good. Bricked it off the front of the rim. One more free throw to go. Two-point lead for Utah State. I've got Utah State plus 11 and a half, so I need them to, uh, I need them to play well. Otani is the highest-paid athlete in the world. Uh, I'm going to call bullshit on that. I'm not even going to read the rest because that's not true. I'm pretty sure there are soccer players that make way more than Otani makes. I'm not even going to read the rest of that. Purdue for three. No good. Rebounded by Utah State. They're still up two, 15 to 13. 12 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Utah State kicks it out. Dribble. Wow. Not a good possession for Utah State there. Guy looked like he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Turned it over. Purdue now with the ball. Down low to Edie. Backs his way in. And he's fouled again. Yeah, I mean, there's just nothing you can do with that guy but foul, and that's it. It's the old hack shack routine from 25 years ago. Utah State still with a two-point lead, but Zach Eady for Purdue shooting two now on the free throw line. 12-21 to go in the first half. ETN got arrested. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. Otani making $700 million. Not in a year, he's not. Lifetime, maybe. That might be what the contract is worth. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, Ronaldo, soccer player.
you got to go way down this list to find baseball players. It's a bunch of basketball and soccer players. Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, the highest paid football players. Otani, the 16th highest paid athlete. $70 million a year total for Otani. Just shy of the number one mark held by Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, currently sitting at $275 million a year. So Otani would have to make five times what he makes in order to surpass Ronaldo. So it's really not even close. I'm looking at 2024. Dummy. A troll somewhere else. I'm, lo I'm looking at 2024. This is 2024, February 2024. Here's Otani right here. Dodgers, $70 million a year. That's total salary and endorsements. See? Salary, endorsements, total. Cristiano Ronaldo, salary of $215 million. Endorsement, $60 million. Total, $275. Otani, $30 million a year salary, $40 million a year endorsement, $70 million a year total. Nowhere close to $275 million. Type, 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 You have it on 2023. I'll bet anybody right now $1,000 that you can't, you won't find anything anywhere that says that Otani makes $275 million a year. I'll bet anybody that want to make that bet, $1,000 right now that Otani is not the highest paid athlete in the world. Type all you want about the year or whatever you want. You won't find anything anywhere that says that Otani makes over $275 million a year, period. Won't find it. I mean, what do you want me to do now? I got to look up Otani's salary. I mean, why do y'all have to be so? It's one thing to be dumb, but then to be hard headed about it uh, somehow makes you dumber. Here you go. Now find some kind of excuse about why this is wrong. MLB's highest paid player 2024, Otani on top, despite $2 million salary. Wow. $2 million salary for Otani, huh? Wow, unbelievable. Shout out to Otani. He makes $2 million a year. He's only $273 million a year away from Ronaldo. That's unbelievable. What year is this? What does that say? 2024. Five days ago. Jesus Christ. Five star dummy. Type 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 Come on, Utah State. Pay Lou. Edward did another six-hour stream. Yeah. He's making $680 million. That's the total value of his contract, dummy. Ronaldo's making $275 million a year. A year. $680 million, that's the total value of the life of his contract, Robert. He's not making $680 million a year. Stop it. Y'all are embarrassing yourselves. Bring it on, Baylor, man. Yeah, I'm on Baylor uh, uh, against uh, the Taters today. I think Baylor puts it on them. <clears throat> You're taking the helmets out of their boxes. How else would they be able to flip them over now? You know, it's surprising to me how many people have asked that question. 
How can you flip a helmet over if it's not in a box? Well, you do this. You see that black magic I just did? There. I'll show you one more time. It's black magic. Damn it. Black magic. Black magic. Utah State up one, 20 to 19, and they have possession. Coming up on 10 minutes to go, halfway through the first half here. So far, so good for the Pay Lou. I've got Utah State plus 11 and a half. This is great. What do y'all think the average IQ is of my comments section? I'm, I'm generally curious. Utah State misses a jumper, Purdue with a rebound. <clears throat> Under 10 minutes to go now in the first half. Purdue down by one, 20 to 19. By the way, I love my comment section. I think I have the best comment section uh, on the internet. I'm just curious what y'all think the uh, average IQ is in there. Purdue buries a field goal. They're now up one, 21 to 20, nine and a half minutes to go. 40, 37, 95, 85, 68, 80, 40. I think it's probably higher than 40. Floby said 150. It's, it's definitely lower than that. Matt Dummett said 80. I think it's probably a little bit higher than that. Big Tube says 85. That's probably getting pretty close to right. Was Edie fouled again? Damn. Well, Edie lives on the free throw line, don't he? The average IQ of a comment section generally is just below the host by 5 to 10 points, says Green, St uh, Green Street Utes. Well, that would mean the average IQ of the comment section is around 110, then. 110 to 115. Dylan says 89. I think that's probably pretty close to right, Dylan. Zach Eady shooting free throws, and it's good. Makes the first one. 9.03 to go in the first half. It's a one-point game. Utah State 23, Purdue 22. Second free throw coming up here for Edie. And he buries it. All tied up, 23 apiece with nine minutes to go in the first half. Come on, Utah State. Got a score here. Keep the pedal to the metal. Let's go. All gas, no brakes. Utah State. Drives. Lays it up, no good, but fouled. Utah State will be shooting two now. Florida is the Colorado of the SEC in football. Damn, that's bad there. That, that sounds bad, honestly. That honestly sounds bad. Did you and Junior have a great time at the concert? We did. He absolutely loved it. He was blown away. So that made me happy. He had a great time. Utah State misses the first free throw. That's no good. You can't be doing that here, especially when I've got money on the game. I need you to make the gimmies here. I need you to make the gimmies. Yeah, he had a great time. And I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm definitely not the world's biggest Zach Bryan fan. I mean, before the concert, I only ever heard two of his songs before. Uh, but he put on a hell of a show. I'll give him that. He put on a hell of a show. He's an entertainer. 24 to 23, Utah State up by one. Eight and a half minutes to go. Down low to Edie again. Misses an easy layup that time. Out of bounds, Purdue. Maintains possession, though they're going to say last touched by Utah State. Hard to tell there. Probably right, though. 
Purdue, uh, Purdue's ball. They'll be inbounding from underneath their own basket. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Eight and a half minutes to go until halftime. Underneath the Edie again. He kicks it out for three. No good. Rebounded by Edie. Kicks it back out. Another three. No pump fake. Back into Edie. Back out. Three-pointer from the corner. No good. Rebounded again by Purdue and slammed home by a white boy. That's embarrassing if you're Utah State there. Eight minutes to go in the first half. Purdue with a one-point lead, 25 to 24. <clears throat> dogs going to upset today. Go dogs. No, I think Wake Forest will blow them out, actually. Uh, I'm probably going to bet Wake Forest minus nine and a half in that one. Woo-wee! Zach Eady would have swat, get that shit out of here. Knock that shit into the third row. Utah State will keep possession with 10 seconds on the shot clock, and they're down a point. Uh, Biggs Mike says, hit the thumbs up. Yeah, y'all hit the thumbs up for real. That's quick and easy for y'all to do, and it really is It really is a big help. So make sure y'all are hitting that thumbs up. What time is the Georgia game? 4 o'clock. Uh, 4 o'clock, if it starts on time. Sometimes these things get delayed a few minutes, but it's supposed to start at 4. Supposed to start at four. I believe it comes on ESPN too. This Purdue game is on, I think, CBS. <clears throat> yes, CBS. Georgia game, I think, comes on ESPN two at four. Second round of the NIT tournament at Wake Forest. <clears throat> Isn't that just one of two dudes are flopped and faked that a fan hurt them? College basketball is full of pussies. Isn't that just one of two dudes are flopped and faked that a fan hurt them? Um, I don't know what any of that means. Are you going to live stream the spring games? Yes, whatever games they televise, which usually ain't very many. But yes, I will be uh, live streaming uh, whatever spring games they televise. Tennessee lost to Purdue by four earlier this season, says Billy. What's up, Daniel? Good to see you in here. I thought Tennessee was going to lose last night. Their defense on Texas was elite. Uh, they will lose. It's just a matter of time. It's Tennessee and what, what, what's that coach's name? Bruce Pearl. Is that his? What, no, uh, Rick Barnes. All he does is lose in the tournament. And it's just a matter of time before Tennessee loses. It's just a matter of time. Uh, Texas plus six and a half was the lock of the century, though. That was easy money. Texas plus six and a half paid Lou last night. So fuck Tennessee. Pay, Texas paid Lou at plus six and a half. Easy money. Creighton awaits General Voltard. Is that who Tennessee plays next? Is Creighton? Creighton will have a dog walk now. Yep. Creighton will have a dog walk, Tennessee. Ah, man, that's a shame. You hate to see that. I think Bama and Tennessee won't make the Final Four. Tennessee definitely won't make the Final Four. They've never made one. Bama hadn't either, have they? Bama ain't never made the Final Four either. Wow. Absolute poverty for Tennessee and Bama. Jeez. That's pitiful. Boy, I can't wait to see this Planet of the Apes movie. Oh, oh, speaking of movies, please tell me y'all seen the previews for the new Beetlejuice movie. Oh, boy, don't even get me started. Let's just, in fact, let's not even talk about that because this entire stream will get turned into just me talking about Jenna Ortega for two hours. But if you haven't seen the uh, new Beetlejuice uh, 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 trailer or preview, whatever it's called, I don't know what's wrong with you. Go watch it. Stop watching me and go watch that. Are you going to stream JMU and Duke today? Uh, no. No. I'm streaming this game and then uh, probably the Georgia Wake Forest game right after, but then that'll be it for the streams today. When fans rushed to court, the guy from Purdue and the guy from Duke faked injuries. That's what I meant. Oh, okay. I got James Madison beating Duke, says Z200. Uh-oh, keep Bogart away from the movie theater. She gets all hot and bothered by Beetlejuice stuff. Who's Bogart? Oh, you mean Bogart. That prostitute congress lady. 25-24, to 24, still a one-point game. Purdue up with 740 to go in the first half. So, as long as this game stays close, I'm happy. I've got Utah State plus 11 and a half. We got to get Lou paid here. 
we got to get Lou paid. I did not get paid on the early game. I had Marquette minus four, and they only won by four. So I didn't lose, uh, but I also didn't win. I just got my money back, which is better than losing, but I want to win one here. Uh, I was on an absolute tear yesterday. Looking to continue that today. Utah State, corner three, no good. Rebounded by Utah State. They missed the layup. Still down by one, 25-24, coming up on seven minutes to go in the first half. Purdue for three, no good off the front of the rim. Rebound, Utah State. Seven minutes to go now. Dribble, dribble, dribble for Utah State. Down low, and they turned the ball over. Zach Eady with a block. Purdue looking to run into the lane. Off the glass, no good. Rebound, Utah State. A lot of contact, no call. A lot of contact. Utah State into the lane, no good. Wild shot, no good. This guy for Utah State with a headband looks like Johnny from the original Karate Kid movie. Somebody ought to crane kick his ass, too. Purdue with the ball, still up by one. Scoring drought. Neither team scored in the last couple of minutes. Edie underneath. Lays it in and fouled. Another chance for a three-point play. Purdue up 27-24 to and headed to the free throw line to shoot one. It would be dumb but fun to, to who the first loser would be. Luke, can you stream to Sweet 16? Of course I can. There's nothing I can't do. And there's nothing I don't know. So, yes, of course I can, of course I can uh, stream to Sweet 16. Of course I can. Of course I can. Yeah, of course I can. Zach Eady on the free throw line. He can basically lay it up from the free throw line. His arms are so damn long. Makes the free throw. And it's now a four-point game. Biggest lead of the day for Purdue, 28-24. to Coming up on six minutes to go in the first half. I need Utah State to score here. They're on a bit of a drought. I need Utah State to stay in this game. Keep it close. They're going to get Utah State with an offensive foul. Charging. Turnover. Purdue with a lot of momentum right now. Utah State's going to have to take a timeout here. Or this thing gets out of hand. Nice hat, Lou. Thank you, Brian. Auburn, your season is tarnished, says Z200. Vic2 Production says, or he got paid a crap load of money. Not sure what he's talking about there. Okay, what's the first thing you know? Literally everything. Tennessee fans really think Nico going to win the Heisman. They do. They think he's going to win two or three Heismans and 17 natties, a World Series and an NBA Defensive Player of the Year award. Utah State for three, no good. Purdue up six, 30 to 24. Utah State needs to take a timeout here. I don't know why they haven't. I don't know why Utah State has not taken a timeout here. Purdue's on what, an 8.80 run? Utah State hadn't scored in like three minutes of game time. Maybe they'll take a timeout after these free throws. I don't know, but Purdue back at the free throw line, 30 to 24. First three throw is good. It's now a seven point game, 31 to 24. Well, Utah State was hanging around for a while, but Purdue has pulled away in the last couple of minutes. Now up uh, seven, 31 to 24, 540 to go in the first half. I've got Utah State plus 11 and a half, so I need them to keep it close. Eight-point game, 32 to 24, five and a half minutes to go. Utah State with the ball. They desperately need a basket here. Passing it around the perimeter. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Long jumper. No good. And Zach Eady rebounds. I don't know what you, why Utah State hasn't taken a timeout is besides me. They should have taken a timeout two minutes ago. Uh, this, this is piss poor coaching. Five minutes to go. They've got three timeouts. Ain't used none of them. 
Down low to Edie, Purdue. Edie misses a dunk, rebounded by uh, Utah State. How do you miss a dunk at seven foot four? Utah State with another turnover. I, I don't understand why we haven't seen a timeout here from Utah State. Here's Zach Edie. Fouled again. I don't understand why they have not called a timeout. This is pissing me off. If I find out who this coach is for Utah State, I'm liable to have his ass fired at halftime. I mean, this is coaching malpractice. You're just letting Purdue run up and down the court and score basket after basket after basket while you can't do a goddamn thing, and you're sitting on three timeouts like it's your fucking job. Call a goddamn timeout, you moron. The fuck is wrong with you? Edie makes the first free throw. It's now a nine-point game. 4.47 to go in the first half. You bet the spread, not the money line. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got uh, Utah State plus 11 and a half. Misses the second free throw. Rebound Utah State. They're down nine with 4.40 to go. Passing it around the perimeter. Into the lane. Puts up a jumper. Won't go. Miss, missed another one. Rebound by Purdue. Still won't call a timeout. They still won't call a timeout. 4.20 to go in the first half. Purdue's on what? A 12-0 run? Edie kicks it out. Purdue for three. Nails it, of course. Now they call a timeout. Way too fucking late. Two, three minutes too late. 12-point lead for Purdue to... If you get Lou's sense of humor, you'll laugh all day. Thanks, Lou. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate that, buddy. Billy says Lou's betting the spread. Yeah, I've got Utah State plus 11 and a half. It literally says it scrolling across the screen right now. Utah State plus 11 and a half. Uh, I don't know how more clear to be than that. So. Yeah. Edie knows how to force the other team to foul him. <clears throat> Oh, y'all are trying to explain sports betting to AJ. Yeah, don't even try. Don't even try. He's developmentally disabled. He's got the, the, the IQ and mental state of like a four-year-old. Uh, he's one of the most retarded people in the history of this comment section. Trying to explain anything to him is a massive waste of time. Commercial break in the game now. Commercial break in the game. Loby says, what's up, Texas man? Brian says, AJ's on the spectrum. He probably is, which is fine. I mean, you know, there's lots of people around here that are on the spectrum. Uh, most of them aren't nearly as dumb as AJ, but there's lots of people around here on the spectrum. There's nothing wrong with that. What movie is this? I don't know what the hell that was. Anyone seen Octavian or Bluegrass Sports Media? Nope, hadn't seen them. Not well, not today. Hadn't seen them today. No, nah, minus 20 Purdue. I'm taking that. That's easy money with Purdue do reputation, says Jerry Go Deep. No, I don't have a minus 20. The line was 11 and a half. The line was 11 and a half. I've got, I've got uh, Utah Utah State plus 11 and a half. Lou, is it true? Tre uh, Trevor Etienne arrested? Yeah, arrested last night for uh, 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 DUI. Yeah. Uh, Floby, I knew Texas was going to lose to Tennessee. I nailed that part of my bracket. <clears throat> I took Texas plus six and a half. Uh, and, it, and that was a winner because they only lost by six. So I got paid on the Texas game last, Texas Tennessee game last night. I did good yesterday. Uh, I made almost four hundred dollars yesterday. Three hundred, well, no, more than four hundred dollars. I made, 
I made $480 yesterday. Octavian is in his shadow after Florida lost to a Colorado buzzer beater. Yesterday was my best day with the bracket, says G-Man. Twelve point lead for Purdue. Timeout over. Back from the commercial break. Utah State with possession down twelve with four minutes to go in the first half. They have not scored in a long time. It feels like they were winning twenty four to twenty two or twenty four to twenty three. So Purdue's on a twelve or a thirteen zero run here. Utah State needs to find a way to score. For three, wide open, no good, and Purdue gets the rebound. The drought continues for Utah State. Better play defense. Better play defense. Jumper for Purdue. Nails it. 14 point lead now for Purdue. 38 to 24 with three and a half minutes to go in the first half. Utah State is not scoring forever. 15 0 run for Purdue. Jumper, no good. Rebounded by Purdue again. Utah State can't buy a bucket. It's, it's been half an hour since they scored a damn bucket. They were winning 24 to 23. Now they're losing 38 to 24. 15 0 run for Purdue. And now they're going to get uh, Utah State with another foul. What a LSU fan like me wants is Nussmeyer to play great, says Floby. Z200 says, Anyone else got any new names for coaches who have done not so good this season? There's Bluegrass Sports Media. Who, somebody was just asking about you. He says, Fire Calip uh, Calipari. I know you have a pick for betting reasons, but who's your pick to win it all? UConn. UConn. Now the commercial break now. Uh, yeah, Utah, man. <laughs> Purdue went on a 15-0 run. Utah State hadn't scored in like 10 minutes. Utah State was up 24-23. to Now Purdue's up 38-24. to <laughs> scored the, Purdue, Purdue has scored the last 15 points. UNC winning at all, Lou? No. Uh-uh. Not happening. Yeah, we need Nussmeyer to play great. He's given us every reason to trust that he will, says Flaming Sports Media. No, Billy, he has tried that shit already. Don't work. How y'all lose a five-star defensive lineman to USC? Yeah, that's a bad loss for Georgia. As, uh, as well as Georgia recruits, it, it's hard to find those elite defensive linemen. Those things don't grow on trees, so that's a big loss. That's a big loss for Georgia. And Georgia doesn't really have any weak spots on defense, but they could, they could use some improvement along the defensive line, in my opinion. So... Yeah, that's a bad loss to lose that guy. I mean, not for this season. True freshman, you know, he wouldn't do much or he wouldn't do anything this season. This is for next year's recruiting class, so not even really for next season. But um, five-star defensive linemen are hard to come by. So that's a bad loss for Georgia there. UNC is terrible at basketball. Um, I don't know if terrible is the right word. I mean, weren't they a, aren't they a one seed? They beat Michigan State yesterday for the millionth time. <clears throat> I hit on that game, too. The champs in two weeks are terrible. The Tar Heels aren't winning it. They're good, but they're not winning the uh, tournament. It's not signing day yet. None of the recruiting stuff matters until then. Well, it does matter. I mean, you know, it, could he flip back? Yeah, but you can't say recruiting doesn't matter until December 5th. I mean, recruiting matters every day of the year. Lou, what do you know about B-ball? I know North Carolina's not winning the Natty. Either UConn or UNC is winning. Yeah, UConn, not, not UNC. UNC. 
All right, 38 to 24, 14 point lead for Purdue. 258 to go in the first half. I've got Utah State plus 11 and a half. Looked good for the first 10 minutes of the game. But Utah State has not scored in the last five or six minutes. Purdue has scored 15 points in a row to take a 38 to 24 lead. They, uh, Purdue was down 24 to 23, and they've now reeled off 15 straight points. They're up 38 to 24. They missed the first free throw, though. Here comes the second one. They make that one. So they've now scored 16 points in a row. They're on a 16 0 run. 250 to go in the first half. Utah State brings it up court. Across the half-court line. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Passes it underneath. Knocked out of bounds. And they're going to call Purdue for a foul there. 39-24. to 24, 2.44 to go. Utah State will be shooting free throws. If they make these free throws, it'll be the first points they've had in about 10 minutes. Purdue has scored the last 16 points. Here comes the first free throw. He makes it. Miracle. 14-point game now. Kirby Smart said it best. No coach can out-coach recruiting. That's a fact. That's a fact. People who say recruiting doesn't matter are fans of teams who don't recruit good. That's the only people that think that. Second free throw. It's good. 39-26. to 13-point game. And another fucking timeout. <clears throat> Purdue brings it up court, up 13 with two and a half minutes to go. 39 to 26. Passing it around the perimeter now. Zach Eady at the top of the key. Hands it off. Into the lane, puts it up. No good, but Eady with the rebound puts it back. Good. Back to a 15 point lead now, 41 to 26. Coming up on two minutes to go now. Come on, Utah State. Utah State has those two free throws, but they haven't made a field goal in 10 minutes, at least. Throws underneath, lays it up off the glass, and in. First field goal for Utah State in the last 10 or 15 minutes. 13-point game now. 41-28 to 28 is the score. A minute 50 to go in the first half. Come on, play some damn defense. Play some damn defense. Underneath the Edie, double teamed right away. Fouled, but still. If you're going to foul him, then fucking foul him. The love tap bullshit. They fouled him. He made the shot anyway, so this will be the, the third or fourth time Edie will have a three point play opportunity here. <clears throat> Lou, how was the concert? Oh, the concert was great. Yeah, Lou Jr. had a great time. He had a great time. Zach Bryan put on a hell of a show, too. You know, I didn't know anything about him. I'm not a Zach Bryan fan. My son just wanted to go, so I took him. But uh, he put on a hell of a show that Zach Bryan did. I'm, uh, I'm more of a Zach Bryan fan now than I was before the show. It was really good. Edie makes the free throw. 16-point lead now for Purdue. A minute and a half to go in the first half. Come on, Utah State. Come on, Utah State. Jumper. Nails it. Cuts the lead to 14. 44 to 30. A minute 15 to go in the first half. Purdue walks the ball up to court here. They're in no hurry. Underneath the Edie again. Uncontested dunk. Back to a 16. It seems like they could do that every play if they wanted to. The dude is 7'4". It seems like they could just throw it down low to Edie every single time if that's what they wanted to do. 45 seconds to go. Utah State for three. No good. Utah State with the rebound. Kicks it back out to the corner for three. There it is. Makes it that time. 13-point lead now for Utah State. 46 to 33. 30 seconds to go until halftime. One second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. So, this will be the last shot of the half for all intents and purposes. There won't be more than a second left at the most for Utah State, no matter what happens here. Purdue just passing it back and forth. 
letting the clock drain down. Under 10 seconds now. Five, four, three-pointer. Wow, banked it off the glass. I don't think he called that, though. I don't think he called that. So in my it, it, where, where I come from, that wouldn't count. Where I come from, that wouldn't count. If, if you bank a three off the glass, you got to call that. And he, he did not call this. He did not call that at all. But the NCAA has their own set of rules, and they're going to count it. Where I come from, that shit don't count. If you're going to bank it off the glass for a three-pointer, you got to call that shit where I come from. <clears throat> Florida Gators will win the national championship, says Octavian. Yeah, we know. We know. All right, it's halftime. Your score, 49-33, to 33, so a 16-point game. Not good for me. I've got Utah State plus 11 and a half. So it's not looking good. I'm going to need Utah State to play a lot better in the second half than they did in the first half. Now, they played good the first. They were up uh, halfway through the first half. Utah State was up 24 to 23, and then Purdue went on that 16-0 run, and that was it. Uh, and they never looked back. So I don't know what Utah State can do, if anything. Well, there, I don't think there's anything they can do about Zach Eady. There's nothing they can do about that. Zach Eady can score 50 points in this game if that's what Purdue wants to do. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening there. But I need Utah State to figure something out here in the second half and try to cut this thing down. I've got Utah State plus 11 and a half. We need to get Lou paid. Uh, we need to get Lou paid. Uh, the Georgia game starts at 4, so we're about 15 minutes away from the start of the Georgia-Wake Forest game. And uh, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to take Wake Forest minus 9.5 uh, in that one. We'll see. But uh, anyway, since it's halftime, I'm going to take like a five-minute break. Let's see. Let's. Uh, there you go. I'll be back in five minutes. Five minutes, I'll be back.
No, lady, how about you shut the f up? I'm doing loot too, bitch! All right, what are we gonna do about this Georgia game? Wake Forest is favored by nine and a half. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Why is Florida such a bad university at sports anymore? Uh, well, bad administration and bad coaching, primarily. Bad coaching hires. <laughs> Ram Dog, what's up, buddy? Thank you for hitting the Super Chat to help support the show today, man. I really appreciate that. That means a lot. It's hard out here in the college football YouTube streets <laughs> in the middle of March. I appreciate that, buddy. He says, hey, Wu, your public soliloquy on Edward's stream was pure gold. Had me rolling. Thanks for the laughs. Are the doggies on the wall yet? Octavian pay Scott Kerr. Does he still owe Scott Kerr money? Uh, I do not see the Georgia helmet. All right, let me go get the Georgia helmet. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ram Dog. I'll be right back. Ram Dog one Georgia helmet coming right up, buddy. Thank you again for hitting the super chat, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, Edwards streams are always uh, entertaining. You you never know what the hell is going to happen on an Edwards stream. Uh, but the one thing you do know is that it's likely to be extremely entertaining. It's likely to be extremely entertaining. All right, let's put a Georgia helmet on the wall. All right. Hey, Lou, what's Woofer doing? He's still saying, whoa, Todd. Yeah, 90 proof for Luther. You know how he is. You know how he is. <laughs> Is Blue Chips the best college basketball movie ever? Yes. I think so. What's the other one? There's another one that's really popular. It's older than that, but I like Blue Chips. Anything with Shaquille, uh, Shaquille O'Neal and uh, what, what's the crazy guy's name that's in that? Is it Busey? Or, uh, uh, what, what's the guy's name that's in that? The crazy guy? All right, Georgia helmet.
Gary Busey. All right, there we go. Georgia helmet. Right there. Auburn loses to the dogs again. Whoa, Todd, whoa. Yeah, all Auburn does is lose to Georgia in football. That's all Auburn. Auburn's something like 3-17 and 17, uh, in their last 20 games against Georgia. Buttered sausage. I've seen that on TikTok a bunch of times. Yale Bulldogs. Yeah, Yale plays today, don't they? They play uh, San Diego State. Is that right? Yale and San Diego State today? I like San Diego State in that one. Is the LSU helmet on that shelf? I don't see it. No, I don't see the LSU helmet. It's still in the box in there, I guess. Florida is poverty, says Robert. In football, they definitely are. Three losing seasons in a row. About to be their fourth losing season in a row. Billy Napier's had a losing season every single year he's been there. And uh, that trend is likely to continue. That trend is likely to continue this year. If Hall plays well, Clemson can upset Baylor. Yeah, I'm going to go with Baylor in that one. I'm going to go with Baylor in that one. Y'all need to vote in that poll. It's 50-50 right now. I, I need to know which way to bet that game, and I, how am I supposed to know which way to bet it if the poll is 50-50? Bet in the poll if you have That game comes on soon. Like, real soon. Yeah, I'm taking Bama today. I'm taking Bama to win and cover today. I need Utah State to get their shit together in the second half is what I need. I wonder if Junior Voltar's favorite word is woo because he says that a lot. Oh shit, we're losing helmets. Ah, damn it. Let's see, where's that Georgia game at? It's down to seven points. The line on the Georgia-Wake Forest game is down to seven. I'm definitely taking Wake Forest at seven. Fuck y'all. I'm taking Wake Forest. Minus seven. Boy, that lot of money had to come in on Georgia, though. Place bet. All right, my bet's in on Wake Forest. The, the line was nine and a half when I started this stream. Uh, Wake Forest by nine and a half. I just looked again, and it's all the way down to Wake Forest minus, minus seven. If you know anything at all about gambling, a lot of money had to come in on Georgia to drop that line down two and a half points in basically an hour. That's crazy. That's crazy. Ryan Conti letting everyone know that he likes to suck cock. Which we probably could have guessed. Oh, 
You didn't really have to tell us. Tennessee or Creighton? Uh, well, I think Creighton will win the game. As far as betting, I'll have to wait and see what the line on the game is. Yeah, two, uh, <laughs> a line moving two and a half points in an hour is suspicious, actually. Very suspicious. Good morning, Michael Sprague. Clemson line moved two points today, too. In Clemson's favor, great. I'm bet against that trend, too. Line moved in Georgia's favor, I'm betting against them. Line moved in Clemson's favor, I'm betting against them, too. What time is that Clemson game? Because I haven't bet it yet. Right now, it's Clemson plus four and a half. So Baylor minus four and a half is the line right now. That game comes on at 610. Uh, what else do we have? UConn and Northwestern. UConn favored by 13. I, I mean, UConn will win the game. I don't know if I'm going to lay the 13 points, though. Duke and James Madison. I like Duke minus 6.5. Texas A&M and Houston. I like Texas A&M plus 9. But I do think Houston will win. Yale and San Diego State. I like San Diego State minus 5.5. Uh, Grand Canyon and Alabama, like Alabama, minus five and a half. Oh, it was two and a half earlier today, the Clemson line. So it's moved in Baylor's favor. So money is coming in on Baylor at two and a half and bumped it up to four and a half is what Pete says. Oh, I'm still taking Baylor minus four and a half. I got Northwestern to win and my bracket is over 90% still. That game is my make or break, says Anthony. You're betting against uh, Connecticut? Texas A&M played Houston close earlier in the season. Houston's defense is no joke. That's going to be a low-scoring game. Texas a and going to have to find a way to score, but I'll take Texas. I think Houston will win, but I'm going to take Texas A&M, and, I, you know, I'll take Texas A&M in the points, plus nine. That's a lot of points. <clears throat> All right, second half getting ready to start here. Utah State and Purdue. I've got Utah State plus 11 and a half. It looked good for about 10 minutes. Uh, Utah State was actually winning uh, halfway through the first half, 24 to 23, and then Purdue went on a 16-point run and uh, really pulled away the last 10 minutes of the first half. And they're up 16 at halftime. So I need Utah State to get it together here in the second half because I did bet Utah State plus 11 and a half. Uh, the poll I did ended up being kind of useless because the line had changed to seven. But uh, the majority of you like Wake Forest minus nine and a half. So we'll find out if you're right because that game's getting ready to start uh, momentarily in that. We'll put the Georgia game on on the other uh, TV. Just hold on one second. Uh-huh. All right. Georgia and Wake Forest getting ready to start. I have... I have Wake Forest minus seven. Wake Forest minus seven. I've got Utah State plus 11 and a half, and it's not looking good. Uh, Purdue is now up 21. 54, <coughs> 54 to 33. <coughs> Utah State with an air ball from three-point land. This game's going to get ugly. Purdue with an easy dunk. It's now a 23-point lead for Purdue, and this game is over. 
two minutes into the fucking second half, and this one's over. Utah State has to take a timeout already. Uh, if you can't come out ready to go at the start of the second half, then you just don't have what it takes. And I'm on the wrong side of this one. We're going to lose this one here. Uh, Utah State's going to get blown out. So that's a loser. The little brothers are getting bullied and they're demoralized. Yeah, Purdue man is rolling. Yeah, did Creighton win by 12 or more on your bet, Lou? Oh, that was two or three days ago. But yes, they did. And uh, uh, I bet Creighton again today, but uh, minus four. But they won by four. So I didn't win. I didn't lose. It was a push. I had a minus four and they won by four. So I just got my money back on that bet. So uh, I'll be 0-1 today, really, because a push is nothing. But I'll be 0-1 after Utah State loses by more than 11 and a half. <laughs> Should have bought 20 points. You can't buy 20 points. Not on the site I use. Two or three points is the most you can buy. I did buy a half a point on the Creighton game. The Creighton line was four and a half. I bought it down to four, and it ended up being a four-point game. So that was that saved myself money there. What's up, Woo? By the way, great story from last night. Yeah, thank you, Nate. Good to see you in here, buddy. Good to see you in here. All right, Georgia and uh, Wake Forest underway. Georgia's got the ball. They're down two to nothing early in this one. They miss from right underneath the basket, rebounded by Wake Forest. 1840 to go in the first half. Wake Forest two, Georgia zero. We're on Wake Forest minus shit, I forgot again. Is it seven? I keep forgetting because the line changed. Wake Forest minus seven is the bet. Uh, and uh, da, 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 Georgia scores a three-pointer. Blue Kane with a three gives Georgia an early lead, three to two over Wake Forest. Now Wake Forest for three nails it. Five to three, the score now. Wake Forest up on Georgia, up by two. I need a trustworthy site. Utah doesn't have it legalized, and I'm sick of driving to Nevada and Arizona to play. Yeah, I use a local guy. So I don't I don't I don't use one of these offshore sites or anything. It's illegal here too. So I just use a local bookie. I have a local guy. Five to three, still your score. Wake Forest up on UGA. This one just underway. A couple of minutes into the first half here. Purdue all over Utah State. So I'm gonna take a loss there. I had Utah State plus 11 and a half, but they're down by what, 23? They're down 23. 56 to 33 with 18 and a half minutes to go. Utah State does have possession. Georgia with another three, buries it. They're now up six to five over Wake Forest. Purdue drives into the lane, puts up a wild shot, no good, gets his own rebound and puts it back. What a miracle. Utah State actually scored 35 to 56. They're only down 21 now. Unbelievable. Amazing. Georgia still up six to five on Wake Forest. 17 minutes to go in the first half in that one. Purdue with possession against Utah State. They're up huge. And we're going to get a whistle and a foul here. Down low on Utah State. Arizona wins the Big 12 this year. Book it. Noah Fafita is that dude, says Floby. Yeah, losing that coach worries me about Arizona, but I do agree that quarterback is really good. It's really fun to watch, too. Purdue misses a three-pointer. No, sorry. I'm wrong game. <laughs> Wake Forest missed a three-pointer. Georgia got the rebound. Ball slapped out of bounds by Wake Forest. Georgia will keep possession. Six to five, your score. Georgia up on Wake Forest. 16 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Purdue with the ball against Utah State. They're up huge. They're up 21 points. Drives. Wild shot. No good. Utah State called for a foul again. It feels like Utah State commits a foul on every Purdue possession is what it feels like. I saw how you used Black Magic to flip the helmets earlier, but where's the Tennessee mustard go? Yeah, none of that stuff's going to be up there anymore. All that stuff's going to be gone. I have to put it somewhere else. Just pull it out for special occasions. Purdue makes the first free throw. 22-point lead now. 
For the record, Purdue has given up 35 points so far in the game against the 29th offense in the country, says Zach, 3605. They make the second free throw as well. It's now a 23-point lead for Purdue, 35-58, to 17-45 to go. I'm a five-star dummy, and I bet Utah State plus 11 and a half. They just brick a three. Zach Eady with the rebound. Purdue with the ball back already. Georgia still up six to five over Wake Forest. I have Wake Forest minus seven, I think. Yeah, I've got Wake Forest minus seven in the Georgia Wake Forest game. See if we can lose both of these games. Might be able to lose both of them. Purdue underneath the basket, no good. Utah State gets the rebound. Still a 23-point game, though. Need Utah State to go on a massive run if we're going to have any chance of hitting this one at Utah State plus 11 and a half. Into the lane, Utah State puts it up off the glass. No good. Zach Eady, I think, called for the foul that time on Purdue, so Utah State will be shooting free throws with 17.03 to go. I don't know if I'll be able to stream the entire Georgia Wake Forest game or not either, by the way. I have to end the stream at 5.30, so we'll see. Six to five, still your score. Georgia up on Wake Forest. Wake hits a basket right up underneath. Takes the lead seven to six over Georgia. 15-50 to go in the first half of that one. A one-point game. Second round of the NIT. This is a home game for Wake Forest. Georgia on the road here. A seven-point underdog. Purdue, dribble, dribble, dribble. Uncontested layup. 60 to 37. Leads back to 23. Utah State underneath now. Puts it up off the glass. No good. Purdue gets the rebound. Another easy basket. 25 point lead. 62 to 37. They might win this game by 40. It looks like the Purdue history of shit in the bed in the NCAA tournament might be over. They are dominating here. These are no, these are the types of games they've been losing every year. Utah State, though, makes a basket and a foul, so a chance for a three-point play here. 62-39. to 39. The trains cannot be stopped, says Cordy. Yeah, in this game, Purdue is uh, steamrolling. Right over the Aggies of Utah State, that's for sure. This game's not even worth watching. An absolute blowout. There's a commercial in the Georgia Wake Forest game. Utah State shooting a free throw. No good. Rebounded by Purdue. A 23-point lead for Purdue. Well, the good news is I won't have to hoot and holler and yell and scream and get all worked up at the end of this game trying to win this bet because it's not even going to be close. Purdue buries another jumper. Back to a 25-point lead. Now 15-45 to go in the second half. Utah State just looks like they don't even want to be here at this point. They look like they want the game to already be over. Turnover. Purdue on the run. Fouled by Utah State, of course, because that's all they do is foul. <clears throat> the NIT is just a secondary tournament for teams that didn't make the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Yeah, it's a giant waste of time, really. Giant waste of time, really. The Mountain West has been bad this tournament, says G-Man. Commercial break on both games. That figures.
Let's see about putting this black Georgia helmet up there instead of the red one. I feel like I've been using that red helmet for years. We're going to put the black one up there for a while. Black Georgia helmet. Hope that's all right with you, Ram Dog. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that it is. Seven to six, Wake Forest up over Georgia. Wake Forest a seven point favorite. I did bet. Uh, I did bet Wake Forest minus seven in that game. So we'll see what happens. Betting on NIT games is a lot like betting on um, low level bowl games in football. A lot of times, it's, it's it's not so much about who the better team is, uh, but but you know which team wants to be there, which team is mad they didn't make the regular tournament and kind of got stuck in the crappy tournament. It can make it hard to bet these NIT games, but since it's Georgia, I decided to bet on it. And of course, I bet against Georgia because Georgia's not any good at all in basketball. In fact, they're terrible. Still 7-6, to six, though. Very low-scoring game here. 14 minutes to go in the first half. Wake Forest 7, Georgia 6. Georgia's got the ball, passing it around the perimeter. And they're going to turn the ball over. Wake Forest ball. You don't know me like that. Wrong with this Mississippi State man? It's just looking all kinds of wrong. Yeah, I don't know. We'll do something else with the red Georgia helmet. I don't know. Right now, I ain't got no interest in it. I ain't got no interest in it. I ain't got no interest in it. We suck. Says shooting five five six. Yeah, basketball Georgia's terrible. Georgia is terrible. Still 7-6. to six. No one can score in this Georgia Wake Forest game. I mean, I should have bet the under. I should have bet the point total under. I mean, this is alarmingly bad. Wake Forest finally hits a jumper. They extend the lead. They're now up 9-6. to six. Georgia has hit two three-pointers. That's it. We're seven minutes into the game. Georgia has hit two three-pointers. That's the only scoring they've managed to do. Wake Forest with the ball after a, another missed Georgia shot. Passing it around the perimeter now. Drives into the lane. Pump fakes and out of bounds. Wake Forest will keep possession with 13 seconds on the shot clock. Top five SEC quarterback says Floby. One Beck, two Milrow, three Nussmeyer, four Cook, five Mertz. Don't let Tennessee fans see that list. Maybe they'll run you out of town. Nine to six, Wake Forest with the lead and possession. Deep three. No good. Rebounded by Georgia. 12 and a half minutes to go in the first. Purdue still up 25 points for three. They bury it. It's now a 28-point lead. 67 to 39. Purdue all over Utah State. You forgot Ewers. Yeah, Ewers should be probably two on that list. I would probably put Ewers number two on that list he made there. Beck, yours, and then the arguments would start after that. Utah State with the ball for three. Of course, they missed it. Still a 28 point game. Georgia has tied it up. Another three pointer, nine to nine. All of Georgia's points have come from three-pointers. They've hit three of them, all tied up nine apiece with 11.57 to go in the first half and must be time for another commercial break. Utah State with a block that time on Purdue. Runs the court, turns the ball right over immediately. Just terrible. Yeah, Utah State is getting ran out of the gym here. Purdue with a jump hook, no good. 
Rebounded by Utah State. Now they look to run. Alley oop, no good. They can't even make a wide open alley oop layup. I mean, this is this is pitiful. I mean, they are bad. Purdue with a wide open three, no good. Utah State with the rebound. Purdue's just playing with them at this point. They might as well just go ahead and do like a running clock like they do in football and just end this fucking game. What do you think about Brock Vandergriff at Kentucky? Uh, I can't wait to watch him play this year. I don't know how he'll do uh, at Kentucky. He's not going to have the talent there that he would have had at Georgia, obviously, but <clears throat> I think he's got a chance to be good. Utah State's got the ball, I believe. There's a timeout on the floor for something. 28-point lead for Purdue with 13.08, and no, Purdue's got the ball. 13.08 to go. Purdue is up 67 to 39, an absolute bloodbath. <clears throat> it's important to remember that Utah State is better than TCU, says Green Street Utes. Underneath the Zach Eady, an easy two for him. It's now a 30-point lead. A 30-point lead. Utah State in the lane, by some miracle, makes it. 28-point lead. One Beck, two Ewers, three Milrow, four Nussmeyer, five Mertz. That's Floby. Purdue for three. Buries it. 31 point lead. 31 point lead for Purdue to. Yep, it looks like the days of Purdue choking in the NCAA tournament are over. Foul on Zach Eady. Utah State will get to shoot a couple of free throws here. Five is between Mertz and Cook and SEC QB, says Floby. Utah State makes the first free throw, cuts the lead to 30. 12.07 to go. Jerry says they want to outdo themselves and blow a 30-point lead. I'd be absolutely shocked if they don't win this game by 40 at this point. Zach Eady, 23 points already. They're going to give him a break, take him out for a while. Purdue with the ball. Up 29. Shot. No good. Rebound. Dunk. 31 point lead again. I'll take Dart over Dudu Mertz. <clears throat> yeah, me too. Me too. I'd take just about anybody over Mertz, though. Utah State for three. Nails it. 28-point lead now for Purdue. Coming up on 11 minutes to go in this one. This is just a mercy killing at this point. The quicker this thing gets over, the better off it'll be for Utah State. Purdue looking for some room. That looked like a travel. They didn't call it to the corner for three. Buries it. Another three for Purdue, 77 to 46. The lead's back to 31. Georgia now up 14 to nine over Wake Forest. An early lead here for the dogs. Wake Forest buries a three-pointer though. Now 14 to 12, Georgia up over Wake Forest. Wake Forest a seven-point favorite in that one. I did bet Wake Forest minus seven, which means Georgia's probably gonna win. Blue Kane misses a three for Georgia, but Georgia gets the rebound underneath the rim, puts it off the glass, no good. Wake Forest with the ball. Down two. Ten minutes to go in the first half. Georgia 14, Wake Forest 12. Wake Forest drives. 
Misses the first shot. Offensive rebound, though. Second chance is good. All tied up, 14 apiece. Home game for Wake Forest here. That's how they do it in the NIT. So Georgia on the road at Wake Forest in the second round of the NIT here. Georgia beat Xavier in round one. Georgia drives and lays it in. Good. They retake, uh, retake the lead 16 to 14. Georgia up two over Wake Forest. I've been on the losing side of games like this. AAU in Vegas and the people checking us in laugh. Y'all really playing blah, blah, blah. They came out with seven footers, six, eight small forwards. We were all six, three, six, five. That's what this, yeah, that is what this Purdue game looks like. 48 to 79, a 31 point lead for Purdue. 949 to go in that game, commercial break. Georgia up two with possession here. Nine minutes to go in the first half of this one. Georgia playing pretty good here in the first half. I'm surprised. I took Wake Forest minus seven. Three-pointer for Georgia. No good. Wake Forest with the rebound. Moving it up court now. Cross half court. At the free throw line. Passes it back. Down low on the block. Wake Forest backs the man in. Spin move. Puts a jumper up off the glass. No good. Georgia with the rebound. Still a two-point lead for Georgia, 16-14, to 14, up on Wake Forest. Dart is top five SEC QB, kind of, says Floby. <clears throat> Georgia with a step back three. Nails it. Back to a five-point lead. Georgia 19, Wake Forest 14. Georgia with another bucket and a foul. A chance for a three-point play here. 21 to 14. A free throw will make it 22. Or maybe they didn't call a foul. I thought they called a foul. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't. Georgia looks good here, though. I'm surprised. I thought Wake Forest would handle them, but Georgia's up on them uh, and is playing them tough here. Georgia a four seed in the NIT. Wake Forest a one seed. A lot of people thought Wake Forest should have gotten the NCAA tournament. They got left out. Your season is over, NCAA Tournament Edition? No, I'm not going to do that. I don't know enough about college basketball or really care enough to make a good video about it. I don't mind doing the live streams because I like gambling. So this is a gambling stream. I just happen to be gambling on, on college basketball. But as far as making any type of videos, nah, I, I just, it wouldn't be any good, to be honest with you. I like to thank the state of Georgia for the USC high school recruits for 25. Yeah, y'all got a winner, buddy. That's a bad loss for Georgia. Those defensive linemen are hard to get. There ain't, but there ain't, there, look, there ain't very many elite five-star defensive linemen. They're just ain't. Uh, that's that's a bad loss for Georgia to lose that one to Southern Cal. That's a bad loss for Georgia there. Yeah, I, I didn't like that. Forty-eight, 30, 31 point lead for Purdue with 9.42 to go in the game. Utah State does have the ball. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Looking for help. Two seconds on the shot clock. Better get it off. No good. Rebound by Purdue. Good morning, Annette Lou. Are you making money this weekend? I had a great day yesterday. I had a great day yesterday. There's no way. I, there's it, It's impossible for me to have a losing week uh, after the day I had yesterday. Purdue buries another three. They really ought to consider just ending this game. I, I don't, You know, in football, they do a running clock or so. I don't know what they can do here, but this is absolutely humiliating. It's 48 to 82, and there's still nine minutes to go. I mean, they might look, they might win by 50 or 60. Utah State, no good. Purdue with a rebound. Georgia Wake Forest game is in a commercial break. Dan Mullen did a great job trolling Billy Napier, saying he should stay as Florida's head coach. Yeah, I thought that was grade A trolling myself, too. Yeah, I appreciated that. 
I, I appreciated that. Purdue with a jumper, nails it. 84 to 48. 26 point lead. Thir no, 36. 30, 36 point lead. <coughs> Yeah, that was a bad foul. You're going to mess around to hurt somebody there. Actually, now that I'm looking at the replay, that was that was just a... I don't think there was anything flagrant about it. He actually smacked the ball first. And he hit his arm after, but after... It looked, it, it looked bad when it happened, but after seeing the replay, I don't think that should be a flagrant. As a lifelong Georgia fan, Billy Napier should stay as Florida's head coach. I think so, too. I'd be in favor of about a 20-year extension for Billy Napier. Georgia 22, Wake Forest 14. Eight-point lead for Georgia. Wake Forest with the ball. Wake Forest was a seven-point favorite in this one. Wake Forest for three. No good off the back of the rim. Georgia with a rebound. Chance to add to the lead here with seven and a half minutes to go in the first half. Georgia dribbling, dribbling, dribbling. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Kicks it out to no man's land. Intercepted by Wake Forest. Lays it up off the glass and good. <clears throat> 22 to 16. Wake Forest cuts the lead to six. <clears throat> Forty-one point lead now for Purdue. Forty-eight to eighty-nine. Napier is done the day after the cocktail party. Mark my words, if he makes it that far, it wouldn't surprise me if he was fired after the Tennessee game. Purdue with a rare turnover. Utah State can't capitalize. They miss a layup. Purdue with the rebound. 50 to 89, 39 point lead for Purdue. Seven minutes to go, and then this murder will be over. Purdue misses a three, but they manage to get the rebound. Jeff Bezos does. He owns Washington Post. I'm not sure who you're talking to there. Purdue with the ball and a 200 point lead. They miss a three. Out of bounds off Utah State, though. Purdue will get the uh, ball and a fresh uh, shot clock. Yes, Tennessee has outstanding defense, but in order to let that win games in basketball, question mark, the only time I saw it was Tarkanian's UNLV team. They were impossible to shoot on. Missouri, Alabama, Texas, and Ole Miss are UJ's toughest games for 2024. Who you got winning the tournament, Lou? Uh, UConn. UConn. George is up 11 on Wake Forest now. 27 to 16. And they hit another three, 30 to 16. Georgia's beating Wake Forest like Purdue's beating Utah State. 30 to 16, Georgia up on Wake Forest. Boy, by this time tomorrow, Wake Forest will be suing the ACC. That's how embarrassing this is. I haven't seen an ACC team get this embarrassed since Clemson got blown out by Duke. ACC teams love getting blown out by Georgia, says the orange button. I just realized Mizzou and UJ ain't playing each other this year. 63-3 to was embarrassing, too. Yeah, yeah. You notice Florida State loses 63-3, to they sue the ACC. Clemson loses to Duke, they sue the ACC. 
Uh, well, Wake Forest is sure to join that pity party parade after this humiliating loss to Georgia. UVA won a natty in 2019 with all defense. That team did not let anyone score much. Yeah, that, Virginia's that way this year, too. Virginia can't score a point to save their life this year. They got a, a great defense, though. SEC sure sucked in the NCAA tournament. Did anyone win? They were all favorites, too. I think Alabama... Is Alabama and Tennessee the only ones left? North Carolina State is smiling right now. <clears throat> 50 to 89. 39 point lead for Purdue with six and a half minutes to go. Georgia's up 14 on Wake Forest, 30 to 16 with four and a half minutes to go in the first half. Wake Forest has the ball. Dribbles down along the baseline, spin move, step back jumper, air ball. Rebounded by Georgia. Four and a half minutes to go now. And Georgia's going to turn the ball over, but they say out of bounds off Wake Forest. So Georgia will keep possession. Yeah, Texas A&M plays today. Texas A&M play. They play Houston today. Good luck scoring points against them. I do like Texas A&M in the points against Houston, but I think Houston will win. Look at Utah State hitting a three. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Earn that scholarship. Too little, too late for Utah State. They're getting humiliated. 52 to 89. 37-point lead for Purdue. To... Uh-oh, Purdue just shot an air ball. That's not good. That's not good at all. Isn't Wake Forest usually pretty good in basketball? Uh... I think they're aren't they like a middle of the road ACC team usually. I really don't know. I'm not a college basketball expert. I just gamble. I hope North Carolina State becomes the Cinderella story of the tournament, says Z200. They're already kind of a Cinderella story. They weren't even supposed. They wouldn't even be in the tournament, but uh, but they, uh, you know, they had to win five games in a row and win the ACC tournament just to make the NCAA tournament. Lou, I thought this was a college football show. Who gives a fuck about basketball? You ain't got anything to say about football, Paul. You clicked on a video that says March Madness Round Two: Purdue versus Utah State. So to answer your question, who gives a fuck about basketball? You do. You do. You do. And people, that we've been talking football in this stream for the last hour and a half, you fucking retard. All you got to do is type a football comment and we'll be happy to talk about it. But instead, you want to show up and type and cry into your keyboard. I thought this was a college football show. The title of the show is literally March Madness Round 2 Purdue vs. Utah State. You have to be the biggest fucking retard on the planet to have clicked on that and then be surprised that uh, it's a it's college basketball. You, you, I, I'm, I'm dead serious. I, it's a good thing breathing is regulated by the automatic nervous system or else you'd have been dead a long fucking time ago. My God, you're fucking stupid. Jesus Christ. It, it, it's hard to categorize how fucking dumb you are. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Five star dummy. Utah State with an air ball of their own. They don't want to be outdone. Purdue shot an air ball, so, so uh, Utah State's got to come down there and shoot one, too. Yeah, we've been talking football for an hour and a half every time somebody types a football question or comment, but this fucking deadbeat shows up with the uh -huh, it will mad what well football show. The fucking title of the video says March Madness. Jesus Christ. 
You must have been raised in a rubber room. Uncle Lou, the winner of Georgia versus Wake Forest, plays Ohio State men's basketball team Tuesday night, says Wendy Thomas. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I think the can Ohio State beat the SEC in basketball? I know Ohio State can't beat the SEC in football, but they can probably beat them in basketball, can't they? I don't know if I don't know if Ohio State has that same mental block in basketball that they do in football against the SEC, but uh, it would be interesting for Georgia to play Ohio State, I guess. Wake Forest had a few good years with Tim Duncan and Chris Paul, but it's kind of sucked since. Uh, says uh, Kyle. Kyle Roberts. Thank you, Kyle. Hey, Lou, which one was worse, 65 to 7 or 63 to 3? Uh, well, mathematically, I mean, that's a mathematical question. 63 minus 3 is 60. 65 minus 7 is 58. Utah State with a steal and the dunk. Momentum changer. Let's go. Yes, yeah, too little too late there, but it's a 38-point game with three and a half minutes to go. This one's over. This one's over. 30-18 to 18 is your score. Georgia up on Wake Forest. Wake Forest with an air ball. Georgia, a lot of air balls. Georgia gets the rebound. Uh, three minute, 320. Three minutes and 20 seconds to go until halftime. Georgia in the lane, off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Wake Forest. Still a 12-point lead for Georgia. Wake Forest is a seven-point favorite in this game. Foul on Georgia. Wake Forest will be going to the line to shoot two. I'm going to watch the USF game tonight. I have interest in that because of my kid who you got in that game. I'm not betting that game. If you aren't following AB on Twitter, you're missing out on a legendary Twitter run. I don't know who AB is. <clears throat> Z200 has an amazing suggestion. He says, type, 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 type. Yeah, uh, I would recommend that as well. I would recommend that as well. <clears throat> 30 to 19, and the second free throw is also good. So a 10-point lead now for... Georgia Wake Forest made a couple of free throws there. Georgia 30, Wake Forest 20 with three minutes to go in the first half. Georgia with possession now. Great first half for Georgia, who's a seven-point underdog in this game, but up by 10. That's not a travel? Okay, yeah, they called it travel. That definitely looked like one extra step there for Georgia, and they did call it travel on the dogs. Isn't Antonio Brown insane? I think he is insane. I think he does have... Isn't that big? I think that's the one that's got some issues. Wake Forest just threw the ball away for no reason. Out of bounds. Turnover. Possession back to Georgia. Two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Ten-point lead for UGA. Yes, yeah, CTE says G-Man. I don't know. Does he have diagnosed CTE? I honestly don't know that. If he does, that's, that's you know. Well, whatever's wrong with him, it's sad because he's clearly got something wrong with him. And so whatever, whatever mental issue he has, it's sad. But I don't know. I don't know if he's actually been diagnosed with CTE or not. First traveling call this season. Yeah, they don't ever call that anymore. But that one was real. I don't know if you're watching it or not, but it was really obvious. 33 to 20. Georgia up 13, and they have the ball. Looking to add to the lead here. Under two minutes to go in the first half. Another three for Georgia. Short off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Wake Forest. Georgia 33, Wake 20. A minute 40 to go now in the first half. Georgia all over Wake Forest early here. Uh, Wake Forest was a seven-point favorite in this game, and they're getting destroyed right now by 13. Wake Forest for three. No good. Terrible shot. Rebounded by Georgia. I see bragging of UGA, humiliation of FSU in Orange Bowl. Well, how many studs were left for the game from FSU? College football's in shambles because of 80s-style Gordon Gecko greed. Well, Florida State played the game with whatever players they had available, same as anybody else did, and they took the worst beating in the history of bowl games. So I don't know why people act like Florida State's the first team in the history of mankind that's ever had players sit out of bowl games, but it happens all the time every single year. 
no one's ever got beat 63 to 3, though. So that's why people brag about it. It's the most lopsided bowl win in the history of bowl games and been playing bowls for 100 years. You absolutely got your doo doo pushed in for three hours on national television uh, by Georgia. And the fact that a few of your starters or whoever else weren't playing doesn't do anything to ease the pain, heartbreak, humiliation, and suffering uh, that the Florida State man uh, has been going through since that game uh, since that game ended. Perception is reality, and people watched that game. A lot of people watched that game. It was the most watched Orange Bowl. Uh, it was the most watched non-playoff Orange Bowl in a decade. Uh and all those people saw Florida State lose by 60. 62 to 100 the score now. Under three minutes to go in the Purdue game. 39 to 22. Georgia has built a 17-point lead here with five seconds to go in the first half. And again, Georgia was a seven-point underdog. Wake Forest hits a turnaround jumper at the end of the first half, but they're down 15 at halftime. Georgia 39, Wake Forest 24, your score at halftime. Uh, coming up on the two-minute mark, Purdue and Utah State, it's a 35-point game. What happened to the helmets on the wall? They're right there. Nothing happened to them. What do you mean, what happened to them? You got to be more swift. What happened to the helmets on the wall? Some of them are right there. You mean what happened to the other ones? The other ones are in a box in the other room. Good morning, Lou. What streaming platforms do you use to watch Mark Matt? I have YouTube TV. YouTube TV. Yeah, I've had YouTube TV for three years now. Little almost three years. I've had YouTube TV for right at three years now. Never had any problems. No Florida helmet on the wall. No. No Florida helmet. I like your shirt, Lou. Yeah, Cobra Kai, do or die, mercy is for the week, that whole deal. Strike first, all that. Yep. Which is better, YouTube or Dish? Well, I mean, those are two different... And Dish is satellite TV. YouTube is streaming TV. I don't know what, I don't know what, I mean, I don't really know what you mean by better. Uh, YouTube is half the cost. I love how the FSU clowns keep crying about the Orange Bowl. FSU backups played lots of UJ backups, and they had the worst loss in history. Yeah, there's nothing you can say to make a 60-point loss better. Like, that's, that's just insane. I mean, Florida State just got absolutely destroyed by a wave better team and not only that it's not not only not not only a way better team a way better program <clears throat> you know a way better program Purdue for three in and out no good coming up on a minute to go in a Purdue Utah State game it's a 37 point lead for Purdue <clears throat> Purdue basketball minus three over FSU Football in football. This game is hurting my feelings, says a Utah man. Why do you think Utah State feels? Lou said it best, FSU is a clown school, not a football school. Well, it's literally a circus school. I mean, you can go to Florida State and attend circus college. It's literally the Ringling Brothers Circus School or whatever the fuck. You learn how to walk on a trapeze. If you're a midget, they'll teach you how to get shot out of a cannon, the whole deal. By Insanity says you should add Florida State we're back rankings. You mean add Florida State to the we're back rankings? Uh, well, can't do that. They won the ACC four months ago. So can't do that. Colorado is more of a circus school, in my opinion. Well, well, but Colorado doesn't have an actual circus school. Florida State does. That's the only problem there. All 
That's the only problem there. Thank you for the super chats. Last 30 seconds of the game, Purdue and Utah State, man. Utah State will be out of their misery, and they probably can't wait for this thing to end. Purdue scored again. 106 to 67, a 39 point uh 39 point lead. All right, that's it. 106 to 67. Boy, I got that one wrong, didn't I? I had Utah State plus 11 and a half. Not even close. Not even close. Almost a 40 point win uh, for Purdue. So shout out to Purdue. They're on to the Sweet 16 next week. In the NCAA tournament, Utah State season comes to an end. So it's over. Uh, it's over for them. What do we have coming up? Well, glad you asked. James Madison and Duke at 515. Clemson and Baylor at 610. Grand Canyon and Alabama at 710. Northwestern and Yukon at 745. Texas A&M and Houston at 840. Yale and San Diego State at 940. Uh, so uh, you still got plenty of games left today. Plenty of times to, uh, uh, plenty of opportunities to lose money uh, betting on these games the rest of the day. Uh, I'm 0-1 today after losing on this Utah State game. I had Utah State plus 11 and a half, so I got to figure out a way to make this up. Oh, and I took Wake Forest minus seven, and they're losing by like 100 at halftime to Georgia, so I might be 0-2 if Wake Forest doesn't come back in the second half. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to shut it down because I got to get out of here and the Purdue game is over, and I'm not going to be able to stay on long enough to stream the end of the Georgia Wake Forest game anyway, so I might as well just shut it down now at halftime. Uh, the lady, uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, Battle Angel will be on live today at 5.30 if you want to go over there and troll uh, or do whatever it is you want to do. There's a link to her channel, which you should be subscribed to her channel if you're not. She's good people, and she does a live show every Sunday at 5.30, and I believe Pigskin Pete's wife, Mrs. Pete, is going to be on Battle Angel's show today at 5.30, so y'all go check that out. That's her channel I just posted in the comments, but... Appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Enjoy your uh, the rest of your Sunday. Plenty of uh, more March Madness games coming on uh, today. So make sure you check them out, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Have a good morning.